happy Friday 14th. Friday the 13th is no longer in my books anymore after um, that video. Uh, way too long, and I know that. People are skipping through, and I don't know. I guess, you know, it's not like I'm trying to be um, the largest, uh, most popular YouTuber. So it doesn't matter anymore. If you guys want to skip to the end and just see the finished product and not any of the steps, that's fine. So um, we're going to get on to today's video. Um, this is UV Resin Day because I'm very sluggish today. I'm really quite tired still. Um, the whole process for Friday the 13th video took 12 hours to film and mostly because it took six hours to cure the piece. So, and then another three hours between upload and processing to YouTube. So, um, today I'm just going to do something as simple as UV resin. Um, I'm not going to wear gloves because guess what I found? Oddly enough, in the very same place I had known I put it, but yet myself and my husband looked there maybe 20, 50 times each trying to find the 91% alcohol. Do you see these filled? Yes, you do. Because why? When I looked there again, guess what? There it was. It was as if uh, somebody played uh, a little prank and had it gone for a couple months and then decided the prank was over and put it back. There are a lot of things that happens in this house like that. So I felt it appropriate to bring that up with this being Halloween month, Octoberween. Um, and especially with a Friday the 13th in it. So for Saturday the 14th now, I'm going to be using some alcohol inks to color some of this resin. Um, it is this brand that I purchased off of, um, well, you know that place, Timu. Wow, that's just kind of out of focus, isn't it? Let me see what I can do to focus it in more. Okay, so that's that brand. It so far has worked well but I have found that it becomes extremely brittle at times. And uh, so you don't, you make a keychain, but don't drop it because it'll snap apart like glass. Um, so my plans are, and I'm going to turn these little guys here over so you can see these. I will try to make sure it's in focus. I have decided to do some inclusions in some of these. These are earring ones, but they can also be used as pendants. And, uh, yeah, you're going to hear my dogs. And they're little, uh, well, their dad decided to, uh, well, we had to do a little bit of shopping, so he went and did the shopping real quick. and. So he's come back and he didn't bring anything for them. So, of course, they're going to be vocal and upset with him. So, uh, I'm sorry, but, you know, that's my life. And right now you're watching part of it. Okay, so, these are HTV Runt alcohol inks. I have sky blue, purple, red, deeper white, brown yellow, and emerald green. On this side, I have green to light green um, glow powder from a different um, seller, a different 
type, I guess, or it could all be the same, who knows. And this is purple to blue. Uh, got some Q-tips available for little wipe-ups. Um, and yes, I don't like using alcohol on my molds. So uh, I actually like using just plain water. It's filtered water, but it's plain water. <clears throat> So I will spritz these with water and then clean up what needs to be cleaned up. But the only powders I have are these. Now I'm hoping that these aren't as granular as those others because those others just don't really want to stick to molds. But I am seeing it is just as granular so it will be okay because I'm mixing it into the UV resin. Not much. I want my UV resin to cure properly. And oh yeah, you wanted to see those colors. It's easier to see them. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. Baylor, go lay down. Okay, I can't I hope you can see everything. I don't think so, but so what I'll do is I'll move this upwards just a little and Pull this upwards just a little. That's better. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this is the green to light green. Pretty on its own. And this is the purple to blue. Also pretty on its own. These are put into these little jars because when I purchased this, it came in a set of 12, but they were stacked on top of each other and only one lid, and that was on the top of the stack, the rest twisted onto each other. So uh, it was safer to put them in these pots than to try to deal with them as they were. Okay, so let's take a look at the molds. I will try not to lose the little inclusions. We have Boo, a couple of skulls, bats. These are, by the way, true opposites of each other. So they would make real good earrings. Not like some of the molds I've seen where they're just doubles of the same side. So these other little items here, we've got black and red bats and little skeletons. Those skeletons are charms. And so I will be cutting off the uh, little ring there at the top of their heads. Pretty shiny and they don't really want to focus, so I'm sorry. Then with this one, of course, we have pumpkins. Baylor, go now and lay down. Tell Daddy to take you outside. Pumpkins, hands, ghost, oops, sorry, witches' hats, and vampire mouths. This one, of course, is three different styles of bats, and they are also true opposites. Try to get that so you can see it better. And the hands you've seen previously They're like a bloody handprint. And this is that one I've gotten recently, that mold. I believe it was a free one. And this is just bats in a coffin. I'm not going to do anything extra special by painting them with micas or anything like that. 
This is all going to be a very simplistic pour. Well, sort of pour. And as I said, it's only going to involve the alcohol inks, those two color changers. Um, out. I can't remember if these glow or not, so I really can't. But I do know they are supposed to color change. And then I might add extra fine glitter. This was a pack 24, no? Oh, pack 8. 816. Wow, 8 and 8 is 16 and 16 is 32. Okay. And as a representation, this is the colors that comes in it. Very nice colors. And very fine glitter. I don't normally, of course, like I said before, like to work with glitter because it has a tendency to be everywhere for days and weeks on end. But, you know, some things need a little bit of glitter. And all I'm going to do is take these three pots. I will reuse these pots tonight. I do have for smaller areas to help prevent bubbles. Um, and getting into the smaller areas is the pipette. I will, you know, put some up and get into these smaller areas like these um, spider webs and these words. And then I will spread it around with my little uh, yarn needle. It has got a very smooth tip, so should not scratch my mold. All right, let's get some of this poured. Actually, I'll be right back. Seems I heard uh, dinner getting ready to go. So I'm going to pause you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started here real quick. It is now 8.30 at night. Um, dinner took a little bit longer than I'd hoped. It's a good thing I planned a short-term video. So I'm going to put this upside down right now. Try to get all the resin down. It's just starting to come out. Oops. I'm going to try to make enough in here to cover what I need to cover. I believe that's a bubble floating there and not something nasty that came out of this. I'm not sure how much each one of these that I'm going to do. I'm not doing them all, um, but I'm just not sure how much each of these is going to hold, so there may be a little bit of bonuses. Okay, I got that into that one. My plan is to run the um, this bottle of UV resin out um, because there's not that much in it any longer. And I think I'm going to start with some of the smaller projects first. And then I'm going to pick probably um, just the purple um, to blue powder and a couple of the alcohol inks. 
I cannot make um, these two dents with pigment because that would not be good for the curing process. I do have my door closed tonight because the noise from the dogs um, is tending to grate on my nerves because I run myself down a little bit. And that's not a good thing ever because then you get a little snippy with everybody. Now I keep this upside down in a container so that I don't have to try getting it back down again. All right, so let's go ahead and scoop some of this purple to blue into the first pot here for just enough color. I won't need too much, and luckily, because there is not that much of this. And that should be plenty of color right there. We'll mix it in real quick. Keep it from clumping. Wow, that just sunk right all the way down to the bottom, didn't it? Okay, let me close up this little jar here. Go ahead and finish mixing this. Luckily, this is being done at night, so I don't have to worry about any sunlight getting in and messing things up. all done. Make sure it's fully incorporated. Yes, I'm mixing bubbles into it accidentally here. So I'm stretching them to pop them. All right. Now, I don't want to use black because black becomes a problem. Um, it sometimes doesn't cure because it's too dense. Uh, so, I want to make these bats here purple, and my intention is to take these itty bitty little bats here, those little guys, they are so tiny, but they do have some good detail. And these bats. Oops, upside down, upside down, upside down. All right, so this um, hole marker. I don't know what those were officially called, but we'll put them opposite of each other. And then we're going to take the red bats and do the same thing. Oh my goodness, turn over. Down you go. Wow, 
like I said, I'm feeling a little slow today. So I'm really sorry if I'm moving too slow here. Don't want to make this a very long video, not after the last one. I myself don't like to sit through long videos, but I do, but I do it at two times speed. And yes, sometimes people do sound like chipmunk, a chipmunk, so a little, little. So we're going to pour this first. I'm going to start here so I can work the opposite direction. As I said, I'm not sure how much goes into each of these. So I'm going to pour what I can. Try to get it everywhere. Let it spread itself a little bit. Get up around that little nub there. And then I am going to take my stick, make sure the bat is placed just properly there, rub my stick around the little nub to make sure there's no holes that will form there, scrape off the top of the nub for less cleanup. Yeah, that might work if I actually scraped some of that off of there. There we go. Pushed it off. I see some bubbles, so of course I'll take my long neck lighter and uh, pop those when I'm done filling these. Now these bats do have holes where the eyes are, the little nubs, to make sure that they are, um, oh my goodness, see, I'm, I'm so sorry everybody, my brain is just on the fritz right now. And I usually tell people, if your um, brain has decided it's too tired to work, you really shouldn't play with resin. For that matter, you shouldn't play with uh, paint or anything else. Accidents are bound to happen. Oh look, the skull got a little bit of purple too. I want the backs of these little bats covered up for sure. One moment, I've got to pause. My nose has decided it doesn't like me today. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that, everyone. But, you know, Mother Nature has its little quirks. <laughs> All right, let's get these boos done because I wanted to get these done. I like the boo. I don't wear jewelry. Um, I haven't worn jewelry in many years. Um, that's why you don't ever see a wedding ring on me. Um, I stopped wearing it. Uh, pretty much for personal reasons due to many things. But um, I just w stopped wearing jewelry altogether. I wasn't happy wearing it. It made me feel fake. Um, and I wanted people to know me for me. And I grew up a tomboy. I was happy in that life. 
but as I've been aging, uh, my preference for things now have turned to the more feminine side of my life. And so I want my bedding to be uh, feminine, flowery, that kind of thing. I want, um, I don't wear dresses though because, well, I do actually now. Not often, but I do. I just feel I'm a totally different person these days. I've grown a lot over my hundreds of millions of years. My kids say I'm uh, older than dirt, so that works for me too. And it looks like I made plenty enough to finish up the boo and the two bats. Get that in there. I hope you can see this because I did make sure that um, I was on the highest point of, oops, I'm getting ready to drip again, zoom that I could possibly be in. All right, those are pretty. As I said, this color is pretty all on its own. I want to make sure that they're the same level in both and I don't know I think I may need just a smidges more in this boo here and I'll just let it find its own level okay I'm going to go ahead and scrape that off set it to the side get a baby wipe and clean out the rest of that purple. Although, hmm, you know, that might be interesting too. I just thought, I wonder what it would be like to put a little drop in each one of these two spider webs. Right in the center. Yes, it's going to spread out by the time I get to it, but that's all right. There we go. A little bit more in this one. All right. Let's get rid of this purple here now. I like using these little pots to stir in because they're so much easier to clean. All right, as I do not want this to take and be a really long video, I'm already at almost a half hour. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and finish stirring and mixing and pouring and then let you see the results before I go ahead and um, uh, cure them. Then we'll see where it goes from there. All right, just going to wipe my hands off in order to do that because I'm using my computer mouse for control. One moment, everybody. All right, what I decided was I put some white ink, alcohol ink in this one, and I'm going to put just the smallest amount of this glitter in it for a little bit of sparkle and we all know that most all glitters fall to the bottom of your mold and in this case that's all right because the bottom of the mold is the top of your product oh 
that one there. It's got a lot of sparkle. <clears throat> Very sorry, it's hard to tell when I'm in or out of camera. Um, so let me get this capped back up real fast. And I hope you can see that this sparkle is sinking down into the resin. So it's going to have a little bit of sparkle. It's going to be white. And I chose white because I wanted to do the hands and the two ghosts. So we will see if I have enough for both. If not, I know how to remake this and I still have some more resin that's not being used yet. I'm going to try just pouring for right now and we're going to do the two ghosts first. A little bit at a time so that we don't overfill. I do not understand why we always say we when we're talking about ourselves. <clears throat> I used to always get asked, what do you got, a mouse in your pocket? <clears throat> Excuse me, boy that frog is wanting to stay tonight. Maybe I should start charging it rent. Let it flow around the nibs. That's what they're called. Ha ha. I forgot. I knew what it was. My brain must be um, coming out of vacation mode. Get a little bit there. Let it just drift in. all on its own. I'll coax it in in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and put you on pause while I finish uh, these fill-ups here. Alright everybody, I wanted to show you that I'm filling in these itty bitties here that always get bubbles and holes because of it with this pipette. Now I'm, I am seeing bubbles but these are back filling now into the hands again. Um, I will pop those bulb, bubbles, not bubbles, but you know. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more to this ghost here. It was slightly um, shy. I did make more to do this with of the white, so uh, the intention is to also do the two skulls, and I think I'm going to go ahead and put a drop of purple in the other skull so that, well, it's even. Alright, I'm going to get some more of this filled into the hand here. Uh, i got to look sideways at it to make sure I have the right amount in each one. Slightly down so they're not sharp. I mean, who wants to put a pair of earrings in their ears if they feel they're going to be cut by it? Not me. And I'll go ahead and pop them bubbles on top there for a moment here to allow that resin to flow better into those fingers. Let me get this put on here so I'm not dumping it anywhere. Stay. All right. Now, long neck lighter. I hate these things because, well, it's very difficult for me to, with my arthritis, to do this, to operate the darn things. So since I already have it on, we're just going to go over the ones I've already done. Make sure all those bubbles are gone. Just don't do like I've done before and dip that lighter into the resin because just, yeah, it's not good. Alright, now with the bubbles gone, I can check the levels better. Okay, the two ghosts are pretty well done. Um, but 
I think I'm just going to give a few more minutes uh, for that. Oh, I'm sitting here looking for my stick, and it's right here that there's a large bubble that's gotten trapped in this finger. So we're going to push it backwards. And out of there. And then it can just flow back into the finger. So I'm going to go ahead and put these two back in here. Grab my lighter one more time and get rid of that stubborn bubble. You know, there used to be a song, Tiny bubbles in the wine Makes me happy, makes me feel fine Sung by Don Ho. And yes, I'm old and I know who those people are. And um, I used to sing that all the time, even in school. So I'm looking for more bubbles. This stubborn one is still here on top. Do, do, do. See, I hit the mold again. I love it. Okay, so wipe the tip off. Don't allow it to, to sit. Um, what I'll do is I have a toothpick. I'm going to get a little bit here over here and turn my head sideways to find the bubble again. And it's not there. Oh my goodness. Heh. Never mind, everybody. Okay, let's put a little bit more into each hand. And you do want to do this slowly so that you are not creating uh, a need to uh, sand anything down. Although sometimes it is impossible not to have to. I do see a dip in one of the fingers and it's like there's a backlog or something into it. So it doesn't want to fill. So I'm just going to tip a little bit more into that finger. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in a little bit more here. Because I want those fingers kind of rounded. No rough, you know, rough edges that cut or hurt or scrape. And that huge bubble right there on top. I love it. Alright, so because the one skull has purple unintentionally. I'm going to dip into one bat here and put that purple drop on the opposite side over there and this bat here because there is a little bit larger. Um, oh my goodness, can you even aim? Hmm. <laughs> oh, um, by the way, uh, my new glasses is not going to be a possibility until the middle of November. I got a call from the uh, optometrist office, and oops, excuse me, and they had a mishap in scheduling, and so my appointment is in the middle of November. So that means I probably won't have my new eyeballs until close to Christmas and my other alternative is to drive three hours to Billings and at that time probably in the snow I don't know why I'm filling this back up again because well I'm busy talking and not thinking white what else would require white besides the two skulls well just the two skulls anyway is to drive three hours, spend out a gazillion dollars in gas to get there and back and be able to go to one of those one day, um, well, as they put it, um, most glasses are done in one day. Well, I have bad, bad eyes 
as in um, when I was a child, uh, one day my sister, my older sister and I, were uh, sort of playing on top of a uh, tree, a, a car, jumping down from a tree limb, swinging on the tree limb, and it was her turn. She swung off. She got to the ground, let go of the branch, and the next thing I knew, one of my eyeballs was sitting on my face. It did not get poked, so it was not, um, you know, nastied out. It just got um, drug out of my eye socket. And so I went running into my mother with my hand holding my eye so that it wouldn't bounce against my face and uh, showed her, Mom, look, my eyeball is right here. Well, my mother had taken first aid back then and so she grabbed a white, clean washcloth and she was the one that actually put my eye back in the socket drove me to the hospital and where I was subjected to many, 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 many long hours of x-rays and uh, waiting for the optometrist or ophthalmologist to come in and uh, try to surgically reattach the nerves and everything and the muscles and between my mother and the ophthalmologist, I had my eye saved. Um, it does have scratches on the cornea, so that's okay. I do see weird things once in a while because they're always present with those scratches. But I can't thank my mother and that ophthalmologist enough for the great work they did. Uh, but I did end up with a year's worth of surgeries um, just to do some more corrections of the muscle tissue and everything so that I wasn't sitting cross-eyed all the time because well back then there used to be a program called Doctari and uh, in it there was Clarence the cross-eyed lion and well because my eye was crossed like it was before the last couple of surgeries, that is the nickname I got handed, Clarence the Cross-Eyed Lion. When I got my glasses to help start correcting my vision, I was then four eyes. And uh, Popeye, when I had the patch over my eye, and yes, kids can be cruel, but my mother did a great job with my grandmother teaching us children that sticks and stones may break your bones, but names will never harm you. And that means that if you have a strong enough character, a name isn't going to hurt you. All it's going to do is make them saying it look awfully silly and very petty and why is there a drip of whatever on the floor down there I just saw oh my goodness I think I might have gotten something on the floor my husband is standing beside me trying to assist me so I'm going to have him bend down there and take this napkin and wipe up whatever that is All right, that's the whites out of the way. Okay, we didn't do anything with the hands yet or the bat coffins. Well, I've already done something with these and um, these hands, so I'm not in too great a hurry to do anything more with them. Oh, I'm going to torch a few things, so I'm going to move my cotton swabs. Ha <laughs> ha, we don't need that. Okay, so, try to start up the lighter again. Oh, my Lord. 
Mm. Aha! Flamage. Get that bubble. Any other bubbles in there? Okay. Make sure there's nothing left in the bats. Let's go over those ghosts. See, see, see. Looks like that's pretty good there. It's good. Okay, one second. I gotta wipe up a drip right there. Because otherwise, I will put my arm in it. Or my hand later on. Or something that really doesn't need to have that happen. See if I can keep from wiping out the skulls. All right, so now I'm going to have to move this up a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing with these guys here. Now, because I don't want these guys right here hidden, I cannot have that dark of a resin go in. Let's see, maybe get him positioned down here a little bit better. Um, forgive my head, it's going over so that I can see if he's in the middle. Well, he's pretty close to the middle. His feet are a little cockeyed here. But yeah, I've been wearing glasses since I was eight years old. Um, fun. They hurt my ears now, my head. And I have to thought mainly about getting contacts. But after having, you know, a tree limb, take your eyeball and sit it on your face, um, you tend to uh, shy away from that kind of thing. Having anything at your eyes, it's di more difficult than you would understand even um, putting glasses on at times because I've poked myself in the eye with them several hundred gazillion times. Let's see if we can get this um, unopened ink opened without doing what I did to the white one and not go sideways through it and not wear any of it. You don't want to go too deeply. You don't want too large a hole. But you do want a hole. So I've got to find where I was poking at just now and wait until I feel the release. All right, let's see if that worked. I'll just hold this over because the last time I had white go flying everywhere. Do I have any brown on there? Yeah, I thought it wasn't exactly poked through yet. I didn't get any splash all over me. I'm trying to find that first attempt there. Well, I'm all the way down in there, and I'm not getting anything. About that time, I'll have ink all over my webcam lens. And there we go. There's the splat I was waiting for. I'm going to have to stick that to the side. Clean off my fingers a little bit. Okay, now I can feel confident in putting my finger over this. And no, I can't. Oh, for pity's sake. Um, I'm going to have to pause you all, call my husband back for a second, and do a cleanup. Can you come back for half a minute or 20? Okay. Over to this way.
If you heard me saying that, you could have already been here, please. <sighs> Santa's little helper, right? I know he could have anticipated I was going to call him over here. That would have been, like, helpful. All right. Before I close this up, let's go ahead and... Ooh, I'll, yeah, that's, the, that's a really big hole, everybody. So only one drop in. I have died <laughs> myself. Oh, sorry. By the way, I am filming on Friday the 13th for Friday the, uh, Saturday the 14th. So um, it looks as if um, my Friday the 13th is still active. But what the heck, right? I already cleaned up what I could. It won't come off now. It's a stain. As usual. Alright, I know this is pretty dark here, so I'm hoping you'll be able to see this color as it gets um, incorporated here. As I said, I'm not going to do all the molds in this video. Um, I don't feel it's necessary because it's going to make it a thousand years long. It's already almost an hour. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to hurry this up real fast, speed it up, see how much more um, I can throw all over the place and get it done. I've got that stirred up. It's like a coffee color. And before I start pouring, I better get this skeleton in place. Oops, and yeah, then I put him upside down. Well, that looks maybe even. Alright, I'll get the two coffins poured, and if there's anything left, I'm going to put it in the spider webs. I'll probably have to make more, but, okay, I'm going to let all that spread out. Wow, those coffins are pretty big, they're taking a lot. I do hope you're able to see this and my hand's not like in the way. And get the stick and scrape that out. Get it spread, see how it goes. Coax it towards that edge. Oops, I missed, uh, I moved him. Okay. Looks like I might have enough. I need to do something about that there, spider webs. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, Put this brown away now and clean that out real fast. I'm going to go ahead and pause you so I can get all the cleanup done and then I'm going to uh, mix a different color to put into the purple and I'll be back. Okay, 
I think it's resumed. Yes, it has. Okay. So, these are all ready to go. The ghosts, the hands. I did green with blue and purple glitter for both the witches' hats and the spider webs. Decided they needed something more, of course, to be finished off. And I still see another bubble. What is with these bubbles? I know they're coming off of the um, inclusions here. So I'm going to try to move that bubble right up out of his neck there. And it looks like I even have a hair in there. So give me one second, everybody. Oh my goodness, I thought I was ready, but hmm. Fooled me. Let me. Ouch, I just poked myself with the toothpick. Happy. There we go. Got the hair. The bubble sitting on top of his head. So let me grab the lighter and we'll get rid of that. Now, I popped bubbles already um, before bringing you back on, but. Go. Looks like it was still seeping up. All right, we're going to put this on um, the 99 second low heat for right now because I'm not sure how hot it needs to be or how high. So I'm going to pause you. I'm going to get these cured and we'll be back to demold. I like that word better than unmold. Okay. I'm going to have my husband hit the light real fast. These are cured enough to unmold. He could have waited until I at least had this thing out of my way. And let's get rid of this awful bright light there. And the UV reaction is there. I like it. All right, let's hit that light back on. You're hitting the wrong button. There you go. Sorry about that instant uh, harm on the eyeballs. Uh, can you please shut that switch off to this, please? As I said, that UV lamp I'm using, it gets extremely hot just having only the display light. So I have a special surge protector um, power strip in which it has separate switches for each of the um, outlets, for each of the plugs. He put words in my mouth. As if I isn't confused enough. All right, I did notice a problem with the witch's hat while it was under. And on this portion, where'd it go? Right there. I don't know if you can see that right there, but right next to this little star, there is a missing area. It's not a bubble. It is because the resin didn't spread that far. I will probably try to fix it a little bit later, but let's get the rest of it unmolded here. Apparently that one's missing some too. Um, Well, anyways, we'll go ahead and do it, and then I'll just repair later. Can you turn the other light back on, please? Okay, let's get these undone. There's not a whole lot of reveal. Except for the ones I put inclusions in. Well, these are extremely okay. Now I did. I do have to backfill these because they are um, quite uh, void, or I should say, devoid of uh, enough doming resin. So I will have to backfill them. Let's get this black acrylic here so that. I can put these on here and they'll be easier to be seen. 
Let's get the witch hats turned over. And yes, yeah, well, isn't that funny? They're a matching pair for sure. The same area had the same problem on the proper sides. That's really weird. Okay, that works, I guess. All right, I'm going to unmold these this way. Uh-oh, he still looks wet. Let me test him. Yeah. Get ready to clean me up. Oh, no. Okay. We're good. There's Ghosty 1. Ghosty 2. I should have used the white to blue powder for these. That would have been wonderful. It would have worked worked out so well that way and these hands are demolding extremely well well okay open mouth insert foot here we go oh my goodness seriously okay and all that over pour I accidentally did it did suck straight on in let's see if I can get you up there so, that hand turned out well. That hand also very well. I'm impressed. So, thumbs together, everybody. That one felt like maybe it was a little wet still. Nope, it's not. All right, let's move these out of the way. Well, out of this way. Um, and let's get to the good ones. Spider webs first. They look a little difficult to pull, so that's what I'm going to do. We're just going to push from the back. Of course, any and all leftover stuff is popping off with it. Look at that. The coffins are trying to demold themselves. Okay, I'm going to hold that one in my hand while I unmold this one. And I'm about ready to sneeze. Yay! <coughs> Sorry. Okay, let's get the finished product of these up. All right, I got a big bubble that formed right there. I didn't get that closed off too well. However, the other one turned out extremely well. So I will fix the bubble, the, the hole. I will fix that a little bit later. They are, there, there's a couple areas that do feel somewhat sticky, but it's like it's not at the same time. So let's get the booze out. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm one of those wackos. I will make those noises because it's Halloween, and it's a time to relax, enjoy, have fun, get scared. All right, awesome. Let's get those up where you can see them in the black there. So you got your left and your right, boo. But yeah, they do kind of feel slightly sticky. So I'm going to put them in a glass of water later to finish curing them with the UV light. I think I'll demold the bats next. 
because I'm really wanting to see those coffins. So, you know, save the best for last, I suppose. All right. Well, there we are. I thought I would lose those smaller bats in there, but they turned out really good. Get my big fat fingers out of the way there. Here, let's see if I can hold it from the middle there. Yeah, those turned out really well. I like those. Get them up closer so maybe it'll focus. And it's not going to. Well, okay, we'll have to work on the focusing situation. Okay, bats are out of the way. Now those coffins. That does look a little damp. Under there. But it's not. Don't know why. So, there's one and two. Did I get them close to the same height in there? I think I did. Oops, too much glare. Those turned out really awesome. Heck, I might even re-pierce my ears just to wear those for Halloween. Let's see if I can fix that focus a little bit. Let's back it out real fast here. Bring it up closer. And nope, that's not going to fix the focus. Well, that sucks. I'll have to fix the focus on the computer itself. All right. I've hit an hour and eight minutes almost, so there you go, everybody. Day 14 done. Let's see. How many more days does that make? Seventeen. Wow. Brain cell. And all the finished products. That's pretty cool. Boy, those red bats really stand out in that purple. All right. Y'all know what to do. You know the drill. Thumbs up if you like it. Thank you for subscribing to those who have subscribed. If you have not subscribed, please consider to do so. As I said, 17 days more of Halloween going, Octoberween. And, um, of course, hit the notification bell because that way you'll get notified the moment these pop up. Usually they are up at 1.01 a.m. for people that live in other countries to be able to enjoy during the day and for those of us who actually really should be sleeping but are night owls for their enjoyment as well and of course later in the day for those who actually have lives uh, <laughs> love you all uh, leave a comment um, if you liked all of this and I'm sorry I'm tapping my fingernails because they're all off because I had to cut them because these two bro were broke down here in the quick so now i got to just even the sand up with this hand. But, uh, share. All right. Peace out, everyone. Love ya.